everybody. Sorry. Time for it. Hope you're doing well. I have an Ulta haul for you guys to share with you. See? It's a bag. Um, I went there today before I went and picked up my husband. He actually called me and said he wouldn't get off work for like another hour and a half, two hours later. So, cool. Um, anyway, I had received a gift card from a relative that had misplaced it, and then they gave it to me fairly recently. I don't remember when. And then I misplaced it because I switched purses and wallets. And so, there you go. There's a mark right here. And then my phone's got to scratch. Okay, never mind. And so, I decided to go to Ulta. This is the perfect time. I was able to take my time anyway. And I really wasn't even going in there looking for too much of anything. And I saw this first product I'm going to show you. Wasn't interested in it. So I watched the eyeshadows and saw what it came with and was loving the package, so I had to get it. So I picked up the Crimson Amulet Collection inspired by the movie Dark Shadows. That thing comes out May 13th or 14th. That's the new Johnny Depp movie. And the character that he plays, a, a oh, actor from back in the day, who, um, I can't remember his name, he recently passed away. This is what he basically based the character on. I think it's similar to it. And anyway, next came out was a palette, and I picked it up. This is about $25. You get about uh, 24 eyeshadows. You get two lip colors right here, two blushes, a illuminator, which I'm figuring is a highlighter, HD eyeshadow base, and then the eyeliner, and then um, here's the eyeshadows right here. You get neutral, and then like purple, topiest ones. Now, like I said, I saw this in the ad, letting the dog over it until I saw it in person. I'm like, oh, how to get it. First of all, the packaging on the sucker is cute. I love the book style. It looks like this. And I, I'm sorry about the glare. I'm paying attention to what's behind me, behind you guys, the mirror. Objects are bigger when I appear in the mirror. This is the back of it. It's in an actual book form. And guys, you gotta pick this up. Because I haven't mentioned this is twenty five dollars. This is the mirror. And here we go. Those colors are so pretty. I will definitely take pictures of this and post them on my Facebook page. It'll be on Instagram and Twitter. And they swatch so nicely without the primer. So gorgeous. And I was actually getting kind of bored with my eyeshadows, so there you go. And then, of course, you get the mirror, and when you open that to the next chapter, as I call it, here's the lip, the lip, uh, I guess they're lip glosses, lip colors, whatever you want to call them. And then here's your blushes right here. I'm looking on the back of the box here. You get the blushers and, yeah, and the, the illuminator. And the other reason why I wanted to get this was because of the HD. This is some kind of eyeliner. I don't know what it is. This is the eyeliner. And then the other, like I said, the main reason why I purchased this was the HD. I should have, I should have basically not tried this yet, and I thought that was a pretty cool way to try it out. So all this for 25 bucks, and then... On this side, it gives you uh, three different looks from the women that are in this movie. So, yeah, I thought that was a really cool palette, and the price wasn't bad, so. Anyway. And, as I said, um, they got buy one, get one, half off. So, the thing I chose was the last one. I've been looking for a dupe for this next single and pure scan, which I'm probably going to have to go to Cherry Coulter and purchase. Now, this is a slightly shimmery one, but I love this uh, single eyeshadow. It came out with some uh, matte eyeshadows, and this is a nude matte. This is, and I have a headache, which <laughs> totally cracked me up. And I've swatched this already, and it looks really awesome and smooth. Uh, I'm going to do it over this eyeliner that swatch for you, just kind of show you. That's a deep purple. 
can see that. See, it covers it up pretty well, so. I can't wait to try this. I'm going to be sure to hang on to this. And then I found some eyeliners I've been looking for. I went over to Essence, and they have a dark purple that's similar to Berlin Rocks, which I put it on my bottom eyelash line. And this is in Coolest Check. Let me do a swatch for you. There's the swatch. If you want me to do swatches of the eyeliners I got, let me know. I'll post them on there too. Now, I did get backups of Amethyst, which I was looking for for one while. They're 99 cents. I bought the last two. So, here's the two. I did not open them yet. I will, trust me. And then they also had one that was the last one of this. It went bye bye. Uh, this is just in purple, purple slash violet, and I thought this was really pretty. So, and I will probably get another one of these eventually. There's that one. Now, yeah, like I said, I meant if you want me to take pictures of my phone and post on Facebook, I will. So that's what I got, uh, and I still have a dollar fifteen left on my gift card. Um, they also give me Ulta five dollars ultimate bonus cashback. Uh, redeem with your purchase of twenty dollars or more, valid five fourteen to five nineteen. And I got ten dollars right here. So if I don't find anything in there, I'm gonna go ahead and just get my two base action insurance and be done with it. I did see a Stila palette that's in a purple container and some really pretty ashes, but I don't forget that, but uh, I may I may wait and do the uh, well. I'm gonna get the port the uh, port killer stuff I was saying about, but this I'll probably use for that. So it was an awesome day. Uh, really quickly, thank you guys for the comments and for the tip on the eyeliner. Someone left a comment. Thank you so much. I will uh, definitely do that. Um, I will be wearing this tomorrow for sure. My everyday using a different eye, everyday eyeshadow palette just went out the door. Um, if you want me to do a review on that, I will. I completely forgot to add something. I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. But the nude on nude palette from NYX, I did not add that to my. I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah, don't. I don't like watching my own videos. I just don't. So if you remember if I did or not, let me know. Um, I do plan on doing a full review on this. I will say I love it. So, and with that being said, the client I finally, finally, I took all my come forth on it. Have decided not to buy the Too Faced. Uh, no, the uh, oh, hello, Urban Decay Naked Palette too. Um, similar, the colors are pretty in it, but I can get mine with that palette right there I just showed you. So. Uh, more to come from me this weekend. Uh, please don't forget to leave me your requests. Um, I did state in a couple of my videos today, if you want me to do a makeup collection, a couple of people have asked me to please show them. I'm still kind of doing this. Um, my thought is, if I get enough people that really want to see it, I might do it. So, probably, probably will, but that's only if enough people see it, so. Anyway, uh, until later on today, I will talk to you guys later. Um, if you have any questions about this palette that I showed you, let me know. I'll give you as much information as I know. Um, but I would get it because it's uh, one of those limited edition -ish type um, makeup palettes. So. Anyway, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.